The day after the organization holds a celebration of life for legendary coach Don Shula, the Miami Dolphins will look to end a two-game losing streak when they face the Indianapolis Colts at Hard Rock Stadium. The Dolphins will bring a 1-2 record into the game after their 31-28 overtime loss at Las Vegas last Sunday, while the Colts are 0-3 following their 25-16 loss against the Tennessee Titans in Week 3. Here are the five biggest storylines for the Dolphins-Colts Week 4 matchup. 1. Can the Colts compete with their injury issues? Injuries undeniably are part of life in the NFL, but it's not often a team is dealing with as many issues as what the Colts have going on right now. The Dolphins will face an indie team that will be without its best starting offensive line, Quentin Nelson, its starting right tackle, Braden Smith, and three defensive starters, including first-round pick Quiti Pei. Oh, and quarterback Carson Wentz had two bad ankles and running back Jonathan Taylor is dealing with a knee injury. 2. Brissett faces his former team. Dolphins quarterback Jacoby Brissett completed downplayed the significance of facing the Colts after spending the past four seasons in Indianapolis, but while it won't have an effect on the outcome the relationship absolutely does add an element to the matchup. 3. Another new offensive line for the Dolphins. With center Michael Deiter headed to injured reserve because of the injury he sustained in practice earlier this week, the Dolphins will be using their fourth different starting offensive line in four weeks. The performance against Las Vegas last Sunday was a step up from the Week 2 fiasco against Buffalo, but it will be interesting to see if the line can continue that upward trend against the Colts with Greg Mance at center. 4. Can the offense deliver big plays? One of the biggest issues in the loss at Las Vegas was the offense's inability to create big plays on offense, evidenced by the fact the longest pass play until the final three minutes of the fourth quarter was only 12 yards. The Dolphins do have speed at wide receiver with Jalen Waddell, Will Fuller v. Albert Wilson, if he plays, and Jakeem Grant, if he's used on offense, so some chunk plays in the passing game would be a welcome sight. 5. A case for the defense. When we discussed the Colts' injuries on offense, we didn't even mention wide receiver T.Y. Hilton, the former Florida International University star who's been out all season with a neck issue. It's a good opportunity for the Dolphins' defense to not only extend its takeaway streak, stands at an NFL best 25 games, but also produce the kind of dominant all-around effort we have yet to see in 2021.